You're Quincy Jones. I mean, you're not, but pretend that you are. It's 1982 and you're in the middle of producing an album for Michael Jackson. It's the second album you've done together and the expectations could not be higher. You're taking submissions from songwriters for songs to include on this album, but after listening to yet another tape, it just isn't feeling right. It's back to the drawing board, but you forgot to hit stop on the tape player. When the tape runs out, the player automatically starts playing the other side of the tape. The song is Human Nature off of the Michael Jackson album Thriller, and today we're diving all the way into the story, the demos, and the feel of this song. We'll talk about who wrote this song and how it was never intended for Quincy or Michael to hear, as well as which song got booted off this album as a result. This story begins with the band Toto. You may know them as either one of the greatest rock bands in history or the band that plays that song Africa. Both of these things are true, of course. It just depends on what generation you are. Anyway, Toto was in the process of mixing their album Toto 4, which was released in 1982. This album was a massive success and honestly warrants its own video because it's so good. But while this album was being mixed, specifically while they were mixing the last song, Africa, keyboardist Steve Picard was off in the other room writing a song based on an interaction with his daughter. So Steve's writing this song, the Toto song Africa is being mixed in the other room, and in between all of this, Steve Picaro is recording synths and doing programming for Michael Jackson's new album. Several members of Toto were involved in the creation of Thriller, including Jeff Picaro on drums, Steve Lukather on guitar, and David Paish, who played synths, did some arranging, and submitted songs for the album. So, right, Steve Picaro wrote this about an interaction with his daughter. Essentially, she was in elementary school and a boy had hit her and sort of teased her. He was trying to comfort her and explain that, you know, sometimes people are mean, or maybe, just maybe, he actually likes you. He said, it's just human nature, and recorded this demo onto a cassette tape. Let's listen to a little more of this Jeff Picaro demo. This is from the very beginning. crazy most of the song is there i just love the contrast of like the groove on the verse it's fuller there's more sustained chords right versus the chorus it's a little more space particularly with the piano but, but, but. doing the like staccato kind of thing Man, this song is too good. Then one day, David Paish explained that Quincy Jones was sending someone over to pick up song submissions for this Michael Jackson album. David had recorded several demos and asked Steve to copy them onto a tape for it. Steve couldn't find any unused cassettes, so he copied the demos onto the other side of the tape that he'd recorded Human Nature onto. This is pure coincidence. Steve Picaro has said he never intended for this song to be heard by Quincy or Michael. But in a twist of fate, Quincy listened to the tape, which included the demos from David Paish. But after not being particularly interested, he accidentally let the tape continue to play. The tape player must have had an auto reverse function because as Quincy describes in an interview for the Thriller 25 album, all of a sudden he heard this why, why song, and he knew he'd found something special. Now, we're gonna dissect this song a bit and see the progression of this song as it got finished for the album, but there are a few things I wanna point out that make this song so special. Let's talk about the groove. This song is a ballad. It's a little slower, but there are two unique things about it. For one, the groove is in halftime. I mean, if it wasn't, it would sound like this. Why, why, I tell them that it's human nature, why? My, nah. Instead, the snare hits half as often. But even then, if it was just straight up halftime, it would sound like this. Why, why, I tell them that it's human nature. Why, why? No, that's not it. Instead, we've got all these incredible percussive subdivisions filling up the space. So it's halftime, but it doesn't feel slow. It just feels like a great groove. <laughs> All that percussive subdivision in there. Come on. 
This groove is present in the very first demo by Steve Pocaro, and you can hear that carry over into the demos Michael did before the final recording. And it's not just the groove either. Check out this synth line in the Steve Pocaro demo. Right here. Ba, da, 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 da. You hear that? That ba, da, da, da. Now here's the Michael demo. Come on. This demo sounds much more like the original Picaro demo than the final mix we hear on Thriller. For example, here's the chorus. There are a few changes that this song went through as it was developed for this album, though. For one, the lyrics on the verse were rewritten by John Bettis, who had written for the Carpenters, the Pointer Sisters, Madonna, and many other artists. Also, the final version is in a higher key, although it's really cool to hear Michael sing this in a lower key on that demo. Finally, the other big thing is the famous opening synth line. Here's just the isolated synth line. Come on. That's another example of the faster subdivisions filling up this halftime groove. It feels so good. But it's not just the subdivisions that fill up the space. I mean, think of the vocal line on the chorus. It's all upbeats, very syncopated. The groove is so good, the song is so good, and then on top of that is Michael's vocal. He's bringing so much emotion to it. There's all this extra breath in there, and it brings the whole thing together. That was vocal take three. Let's listen to vocal take four. If they say why, why, tell them that it's human nature. Why, why, does he do it that way? You hear that breath in there? Here, let's listen to uh, vocal take number one instead. Here we go. If they say why, why, tell them that it's human nature. Why, why, does he do it that way? You hear that why? Listen to that. Why? Do Why? There's like so much in there. That's crazy. Human Nature was written by Steve Picaro, one of the members of Toto, with additional lyrics by John Bettis. And the final recording features other Toto members. David Paish on synths, Steve Lukather on guitar, Jeff Picaro on drums, and Steve also playing synths. Paulino da Costa and Michael Boddicker are also on this song, but it feels like this magical crossover between Michael Jackson and Toto. Going back to the original moment Quincy first heard the original demo for Human Nature, there was another song that was recorded for Thriller that got the boot once Quincy heard this demo. That song was Carousel, and you can hear a version of it on the Thriller 25 or Thriller 40 editions of this album. This is a good song and feels very Michael Jackson, but it's no Human Nature. It's no magical crossover between one of the greatest rock bands of all time and the King of Pop. Oh, speaking of magical crossovers, you know the song I Can't Help It from Off the Wall, right? That song was originally written by Stevie Wonder, but the crossover here is incredible because there are so many parallels for where each artist was at with this song. But right, I've already talked about that, that's in this video. <laughs> 